Hi, this is Petey at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and today we're going to be looking at polymorphism. So let's open up the project we've been working on in Unity, and also the model development. So the next class that we're going to create is going to be using polymorphism. And what polymorphism is, is it allows you to take any any function or method that you have in a base class that you're inheriting from, and override it to do something different. So to use one of the classic examples, you could have a class called animal. And you could have a bunch of animal subtypes that derive from it. So you could have a dog class, a chicken class, a pig class. And in your base animal class, you could have a function called speak. So that speak function is going to be inherited in your chicken class, in your pig class, and in your dog class. But you're going to want it to behave differently in each of those classes. So when you call you know, dog.speak, you want it to output, you know, wolf, where with the pig, you want it to output oink. And then when you call chicken.speak, you want it to be, you know, cluck, cluck. Yeah, this is what polymorphism allows us to do. So we're going to go down, and we're going to override this function right here. Actually, if you look at it, it says public int adjusted value. And what we're returning is the base value plus the buff value. And if you look at the, the name of the function, it's not really descriptive enough. It's just adjusted value. Well, what kind of a value is being adjusted here? So let's change this a bit, and we'll call it base. So adjusted base value. And to be honest, I'm going to get rid of the parentheses, and I'm going to use the method we used before where we had getters and setters. I'm doing this just so when I actually call this method, I don't have to have the little curly braces at the end. That's about the only benefit. So we're going to save that off. We're going to go back into our modified stat, and now we're going to create an override for it. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. One, you can put virtual in here. Then when you're creating the new method, you can put override in it. But there's another way to do it as well, and I'm just going to use a second option. So it's going to be a public, and we're going to use the keyword new here. It's going to return an int. It's going to return the same type, and you have to call it the same. So it's going to be adjusted base with a capital value. Now we can do whatever we want in here. It doesn't have to be you know, the same as we have here. But all we really want to do is add the mod value to what we already have here. So we can actually just take this, cut and paste it. And just simply add in our mod value. So now when we have another class that derives from modified stat, when we call its adjusted base value, instead of just getting the base value plus the buff value, we're going to get the base value plus the buff value plus the mod value. And there's one last method we're going to want to put in here, and it will be public. It's a void because it doesn't return anything, and we're just going to call it update. Now it's important to note that this is not the same update that we get when we have a class that inherits from uh, mono behavior, this is update is just strictly for this class here. Now, all we want to do in here is just call the method calculate mod value. Now, the reason why we're creating another method just to call this one method is because later on we can actually add more private methods as we go along that we want updated every time a stat is raised, and we can just stick them in here. Now, let's go up to Unity. Make sure we have no errors. Uh, we have one because we changed the attribute name from adjusted value to adjusted base value. So we can just come up here, correct that, and uh, base value is inaccessible. Ah, we can't call these values because in our base class we have them as set as private. But that's okay because we do have our getters and setters, and we'll just use those. So we're going to use base value, 
and we'll also use buffet value. And there we go, no errors. So the next couple tutorials we'll be going over will be how to develop our skills and our vitals. I'll see you in the next tutorial.